Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a Python program to print stars in the right triangle shape. We want to print stars in the hollow right triangle shape that is this pattern. We already discussed about similar pattern in this video series and this program also works in the same way but here we want to place stars and space in the different position. Alright so let's begin with the program. To print this pattern, I am using the previous pattern program that is we already discussed about this pattern in the previous tutorial. I will use this program as the base to write this program. So in the previous tutorial we wrote this program and if I execute this program it will print pattern like this. We are using this program as the base program because everything is same we just need to change the condition here right to get our today's pattern. So in this program first we ask the user to enter the number of row and column because in this pattern the number of row and column of the output is same. Here we can see we will print the stars and space in a square box. So that's why number of row and number of column is equal. That's why we will ask the user to enter the number of row and column and we will store that input in the variable n. And here why I am using int function that I already explained you in previous pattern programs. If you know the reason then comment below. Next here we use the nested for loop that is we want to print stars in the different row and column right. To print the stars in different row and column we can use the nested for loop. First for loop will be the for loop for row inside that we will take the for loop for column because we will print star like this in the row 0 we will print all the stars in the columns. After completing row 0 we will go to the row 1 and we will print the star and space required in the different column and after completing that we will go to the row 2. That's why first we need to take the for loop for row inside that we need to take the for loop for column. And here in the range function I need to mention how many rows I want. Here we ask the user to enter that so we need n rows. Here also we need n column right and inside that we need to take the if else conditional statement that is in the pattern. In some places we want to print star, in some places we want to print space, right? That's why we are using if else conditional statement. And in the if condition I need to mention in which row and column I want to print star. Now in this program I need to change this because we wrote this program for the different pattern, right? Now we want to get this pattern. So to get this pattern we need to change the condition. So let's see in which row and column we want star. So let's divide this pattern into three parts. So the first part is this. The second part is this. The stars may overlap in some places that's okay. And next here this is the third condition. Alright so let's print first this part. What are the part covered in the blue color. So here we can see we want to print star in the column 0. The first column. So the first condition is the first column we want star at first column so I'll remove this condition and I'll take when j is equal to equal to 0 here j is representing the column and i is representing the row so we need to take the first condition as j is equal to equal to 0 and this is the logical or operator and why we need to use logical or operator in this pattern program I already explained you about this so this is the exercise for you if you know why we are using logical or operator write the reason in the comment section. We are done with the first part next we will move on to the second part that is this. We want to print star in this row row 0 in the first row. So I will take my condition as when i is equal to equal to 0 that is the first row. Next let's move on to the third part this is the third part. So here we want star at i0 and j4 here i1 j3 i2 j2 this i3 j1 and i4 j0 here. So we need to write a condition to print this star. So for that what I will do is I will add i and j. If I add i and j I will get the result as 4 here. Here we can see 0 plus 4, 1 plus 3, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 0. So I will get 4. To print this star what I will do is I will add i and j row and column and I need to get output as 4. But because we are writing a general program I can't write i plus j is equal to 4. When n equal to 5 
number of row and number of column of this output is 5 right when n is 5 the sum is 4 if n is 6 we will get sum as 5 so that's why to make it generalized i need to take i plus j is equal to n minus 1 because n value is 5 here here we need to get sum as 4 4 is nothing but n minus 1 so next condition i plus j is equal to equal to n minus 1 right so we are done with the condition three parts next if this condition is true if any one of this condition is true we need to print star and here i am using end parameter to keep the control in the same line in a column after printing one star i need to print the next star in the same line that's why i need to take end is equal to empty string by default end value is slash n and next we will take the else part in the else part in this places we need to print star and other than this places we need to print space right that's why in the else part i'll take print space and end is equal to empty string to keep the control in the same line next outside the for loop for column inside the for loop for row i'll take print function this is after completing one row after printing all the stars each column of row zero i need to move on to the row one right but I want to print stars of row 1 in the next line. So for that I am using this print function. Here by default end value is slash n. So it will move the control to the next line. So we are done with the program. So let's execute this program. So enter the row and column. So I'll enter 5. And here we can see the pattern. So now if you want to print space between the star you can include space here and here also here we can see the space between each star all right so we are done with the one pattern today in this tutorial we'll discuss another pattern also that is this pattern so both pattern are same but we want to place stars and space in the different position right everything is same in the program we just need to change the condition here we need to change the row and column where we want star so let's check that so let's divide this pattern into three parts so this will be the first part this will be the second part and this will be third part so let's take the first part okay we want to print star at row 0 the first row so i'll take the condition as i need to be 0 the first row so here we already have this condition so i'll take i is equal to 0 this is the first condition we want star at row 0 the first row so next move on to the next part that is this part we want star at the last column here we can see so to take the last column here n is 5 so last column is 4 when n is 6 last column is 5 when n is 7 last column will be 6 so the last column is nothing but n minus 1 column because column will begin from 0 the last column will be n minus 1 column so here i need to take j is equal to equal to n minus 1 the last column next let's write the condition for third part so here we can see we want star at i0 j0 column 0 row 0 column 1 row 1 column 2 row 2 column 3 row 3 column 4 row 4 right when column is equal to row i want star when i is equal to equal to j we need star right so i'll take the condition as when i is equal to equal to j i want star and rest everything is same so let's execute this and here we can see the output if you don't want here you can remove the space here we can see if you want space add here okay so in this way you can print these two patterns so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care